What's crack? It's another day here at Big Builds. I ended that last video because it was running on, a little bit long. I needed some parts. So I ordered some parts at the Dodge dealer. I'm getting ready to go pick them up because they came in. I figured what car, better car to take to do this than the rebuilt Dodge Challenger. Alright, so I just got out of the Dodge dealer, got most of my parts that I ordered. These are brackets for the bumper. And these are all the bushings and the clamps for the sway bar in the back, so we can get that buttoned up. And also, they had one, one body bolt in stock, which is all we needed for the subframe. So I should be good to go. This should get us going pretty good, get everything except for maybe the lower um support for the radiator done and i had to order that online because they wanted like 290 dollars here and online i got it for like 60 bucks so that should be here next week we should be good to go let's get back to work so i finally got the subframe in the car it was kind of a mission it really only took us maybe a couple hours i had a buddy come over and help me we lifted it up in there i welded the nut in the passenger side put the bolt in there it was grade eight all that went back together great the engine went to the engine mounts and it went up it went up in the in the engine bay farther than it was when i got the car from the auction because they had cut the frame so everything kind of dropped down a little bit now i think everything is is really good to go so the mount that i made to hold the motor and trans up worked beautiful and now today i'm on to buttoning everything up so hopefully we can get it on the ground maybe test drive it real quick um i don't know if that radiator holds coolant we're gonna find that out I'm going to connect it all up. I had to move the lower radiator support out of the way that was bent, so I had to kind of bend that out of there. I might just push that back up in there for now, just so that we can give it a little test drive if we get that far and see where we go from there. I have to uh, bolt the motor up to the motor mounts, which is pretty easy. I got some blue Loctite, and that's about it. Let's get it done. <laughs> Got it all back together, got everything bolted up, torqued down, check it out. Got everything put back together, everything's torqued down. Subframe went right in there nice. The only thing that was missing when I got the car was 
the nut that goes on the back of the rack and pinion. So I just got a makeshift nut in there. The other one, the other side has the nut and bolt. So it's, it's locked down in there. So it's good to go. So everything's back together. Got the new subframe in there. I just kind of mock this up in there until I get the new one and the new radiator and condenser and fan. And then I'll put all the new stuff back in there. But for now, it should be good to at least under its own power for a minute before it overheats. I should be able to put it back on the ground and at least drive it forward and back. Let's see what happens. started it since I had it here it's been about two three weeks started right up so there's still two sensors that aren't registering I had to figure that out but we just want to see how it drives Actually, just gonna drive it out of my garage. See how it feels. I think that might have did it. Oh, those sensors are reading now. I don't know, I almost want to take this thing for a drive. It doesn't have the radiator hooked up, so wouldn't be able to go that far. Let's try it. So it is driving, but it felt like something made a popping noise when I turned, so I'm imagining one of the knuckles or something is bad. But it's driving straight. I mean, I don't hear it now. Oh, you know what it was, I bet? That side that doesn't have that nut in it on the rack and pinion that made that noise when I turned. It definitely drives, though. Goes straight down the street. Whoa, and it's got some power. Yeah, I don't hear any popping or anything now. And it, it feels really, really good. It's got a lot of power. Yeah, it drives. And it drives straight. Up to about, I don't know, 35. All right, so on a test drive, the first little turn that I made, I heard a popping noise, and I think it was the rack and pinion because I don't have the bolt in that side, so I think it maybe popped forward a little bit and then back. But as I drove it, the noise went away, there was no pop in, and it actually went straight right down the road. So I'm still gonna lift it up and see what that popping noise was, but we'll probably do that at a later video. We got it on the road. So the next thing on the list is getting the front end put back together. 
I'm gonna pick up the radiator and condenser from a place here in town. I order the bottom radiator support that should be in within the next week. We can start putting all it together. And here I have the whole Hellcat front end for it. So I'm gonna be putting that Hellcat front end on it. I'm actively searching out a set of rims for it. I'm gonna paint this whole top black. I also have a wing for it that's in that box right there. And I'm gonna put that, that spoiler on the back. It's like the Hellcat spoiler. And then I'm also going to remove this light, fill those holes in, and then probably paint this column, just kind of blend it in. If not, I might, I might tape this off and paint the whole top black, including this pillar, and maybe tape it back to like here or something, come back around with it, maybe to right there. So all that will be black. Uh, it's a lot more work though. I have to bust all this clear down on this whole panel right here to do that which isn't too bad i guess i can do that just bust that clear down tape everything off and paint just this bust a line like maybe from right here all the way back around here and then do the other side the same and then paint all that black so the whole center of it is black i think that'd be cool because the wing's going to be black too on the back and then i'm going to figure out how to open up these lights it, you might be able to do it right here and see if i can clean the insides really, really good and get them back to nice condition. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave me some comments, watch out for my future builds. Thanks again. Peace.